this is an introduction to store procedures in Microsoft SQL Server. And store procedures, we use that for SQL statements that we uh, want to store in our server and just call, for example, with a parameter in order to create something or retrieve something. Or perhaps we want to create a lot of test data. Perhaps we want to um, expose uh, a select statement for the web developer. And um, we don't want the web developer to uh, write 10 lines of code or 20 lines of code and complex SQL statements. So instead of that, we um, we expose just a, a, a store procedure name and then the web developer can just add some parameters. So let's have a look at how um, these store procedures are organized in uh, the SQL server. So here under programmability, we find the store procedures and right now we don't have any store procedures, but if I right click on here, store procedures, new store procedure, I get a template for writing store procedures. We will not, uh, I'll not go through everything in this uh, this template, and um, but this gives a, a picture of what can be used for, um, what can be put into the store procedure. And um, as we can see here, we can put in some parameters and we can, this is a declaration area and then we can begin like when you um, begin some uh, process or a procedure in a in a regular programming language and um, then we can use some, uh, some uh, SQL here for select statements and whatever but as I said I'll not use this template because I'll make some very simple store procedures I'll use my query window and here I will use my create procedure and then I'll give it a name and uh, here I like to uh, to list users list top users actually because I will only uh, I will give the possibility to the web developer to to retrieve um, a number of of uh, rows in uh, in this case uh, users in the user table so here i will first define my variable and i use i use the add sign for that to define a, a variable and i will uh, make a variable called um, number of users capitalize this and it will be type int for integer. And then I will begin my procedure. So I would like to select uh, email from users, user. But I would like to get only the first number that the, uh, that the developer has entered here so it will be top oops, top and then inside my parentheses usually I will write five if I need to have the first five here the first five uses then uh, then I will just enter five here or ten if I want to have the first ten so instead of five I'll just write number of users so now it's possible for me to execute this procedure and um, this is a very simple procedure I just have my creation here and then my my variable here and then I have my select statement so I'll execute this and now it is stored and I can refresh this and I can see here I have my my list top users so I will make a new query window and then I will use the keyword execute ex or short I could just write exec so I would like to execute lists top users and I want to have the first three so when I execute I get only three if I type one I get the first one and if I want to have 
60, but I only have 4, then I will get 4. So I will only get what is uh, within this limit or this top function. So that was just um, uh, how to use a, uh, a parameter. There are other use for these parameters, and I will show you uh, another way of using it uh, or using this parameter different ways in a more complex um, example. So I'll make a new query and I will create a procedure which will um, list my, I have a view actually here I can show, view percentage. So uh, I'll just select this. See this view is used for uh, selecting uh, the percentage distribution of my options. Uh, how many votes did they get? The options, this one got two out of three, that gets 66%. And uh, I would like to use this quite complex um, uh, query, uh, but I would like to parameterize it. So it's possible for me to select in which question I would like to have this distribution or this percentage of. So I would like to create um, this, uh, this store procedure and I will name it you distribute oh, no, no. Uh, percentage distribution and I would like to receive a parameter. It will be my question ID it will be integer and then I will begin with my query. Now I'll go and fetch my query and I have it here. This is my query and I'll just copy that into my stored procedure here. As we can see here I have the fixed number or the fixed ID of which question I want to have this percentage distribution of. So I can just um, substitute with my question ID variable here and here. So when I execute this, I have created a new store procedure as we can see here. And I can try and run it. And it was percentage diffusion. And then I run it and it said, oh, it doesn't do because I expected a parameter named question ID. So if I write here one, it will give me the same result as I had in the, in the view. And if I write two, I will get the options that goes for the answer that was related to cakes. So I have now created a small here. I have created a small um, store procedure, which as you can see here, we, we get some extra um, commands that is inserted by the SQL server use the poll app um, database and some sets and sets and then in this case i want to edit it so if i want to edit something or update it i use the old pro old procedure old procedure so perhaps i would like to have some some more uh, columns or whatever maybe um, but i'll not edit it i just want to show that this is um, this is our store procedure where we use um, a parameter and we can use store procedures for many things we can make loops we can uh, for example if we want to create a lot of uh, test data for our database we will use a, a store procedure or perhaps we would like to make an install script for a database or for some tables then we will use uh, for example if this table exists uh, then drop it and then create uh, or create a table with these columns with these attributes 
and uh, set the index and all that stuff and then we can begin to fill in some data um, so so it is possible to use uh, store procedures for for that purpose as well i would like to um, to point you in a direction that is a nice uh, website called sql server central and uh, if i search for store procedures here uh, you have to register to uh, to look at all these uh, uh, articles but uh, but it's free so you can just type in your email address and then uh, register so if i search for for store procedures i get a lot of results 74000 and uh, perhaps i'm just interested in articles so uh, i can see here oh there's a lot of uh, about uh, store procedures, for example, about SQL injection and and how is security handled when we're talking um, store procedures. Interesting stuff here. Um, go through the uh, the uh, vulnerabilities. Um, and another uh, fine thing here is uh, there's also some videos. So here. There's a guy actually talking about how to create store procedures like I did in this video. And there's uh, lots of other videos um, where you can find here in uh, about, for example, foreign keys and uh, yeah, there's a lot about triggers and uh, how to create user defined data types and everything. There's a lot of, uh, of material here. As we can see, 104 um, videos so far. So uh, go have a look here uh, and uh, and explore about uh, SQL. So that was just a short introduction to uh, to store procedures.